Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Or Here. Uh, don't know what order this video is going to be released. We got like two or three ideas. But uh, we did something again. So, once again, someone decided they didn't want their reptile no more. And <laughs> someone couldn't say no. This is a whole enclosure on my lap. We got, a, I was told about this yesterday. I was told about it yesterday. So we're going to get these guys home and we're going to go figure it out. And we'll talk about them there. See you there. There's my Orion. It's too early. Hey guys, welcome back. We're now at the house. Honestly, a few days later. We were letting those uh, new guys settle in, but we got some things to do around the house real quick, which includes taking care of his water. And really, we're taking care of everyone in this rack right now because these two have just entered Shed. And then... He might also be entering shed. Let me see your eyes real quick, bud. Nope, you're still good for now. So we're good, but we do have to change his water. So crickets got in it and died, and it's just made a muck in his water. So even though he doesn't need a bath, he'll probably get placed in the bath for a little bit. Well, I go take care of that. Oh, I wanted to play with him. You want to play with him? Swag. Swagalicious. Oh, he is getting big. He is getting big. He's getting so long. Like, he's nothing compared to Lilith and Orion right now, but he getting there. Longer. He got weight. Oh, he... And he's the second heaviest snake in the planet. What do you expect? Oh. Bubs. No. This is why I was going to put him in the... Yeah, but he needs more socialization. He do. They all do. And we're finally starting to get there. Now that we're on the same shift. You look like you want to cry. Who? You. Oh, I just don't enjoy picking this up from the bottom. What's going to be even worse is picking up Orion's. Because Orion's needs a change too. Somehow Cricket's got in the top enclosure. I'm not surprised anymore. I know, right? Do with crickets and Ooh, this water's stanky. I don't know if you can. Where's your head? Ah, go easy. Oh, your head is. Go say hi, Casey. Go say hi. There's nothing out right now that can really hurt you. Big boy. When you first got you, you was a tiny. Oh, angel. So yeah, I'm just handling him, trying to get him back to being used to like our scents. Um, we used to handle him a lot more when we first got him, because he was smaller, so we didn't need a second person in here. And then he started growing rapidly, so now he needs a second person. And like he said, with us being on opposite shifts, it was a little hard to find the time to do it, but now that we're on the same shift, it's a little bit easier. Um, also, I'm happy that we have the reptile rooms up and they're maintaining temp because it means that we can have the reptiles out longer without worrying about them getting too cold. What? To the people who wonder all the time if I'm scared of getting bit, yes and no. It's all about knowing these animals. I mean, I'm sitting here touching this guy at the neck, touching his head. I mean, I could sit there, take him like this, and boop that snoop, and I'm not going to get anything. It's all about knowing the animals, knowing their behavior. When he comes out of the enclosure, he's a little feisty. He, he doesn't want to be anything. He's very curious and defensive at the same time, so he comes out very flighty and very quick. 
But no, these animals, once I have them out, I'm not really scared of getting bit anymore. <laughs> it's when it's coming to get them out. That's when I'm scared of getting bit. Or if a rat's peed on me, then I'm scared of getting bit. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get him back and let's go get everyone else as soon as I fill up his water. All right, time to say goodbye to Gargoyle for the night. Also the first snake that puts himself away. I know. Is he going to come? try to come back out on the other side? Yeah. yeah. Might be the first snake to put himself away, but he's also an escape artist. Oh my god, is this going to be the first time I ever catch this snake doing anything with water? <laughs> Burmese pythons are really adept swimmers. That's why they have this. He has this massive pond. They love very wet climates. Well, hot, wet climates, and that's perfect for this enclosure. It's hot, it's wet, and see, he. Sort of like anacondas. Their nostrils are faced at the very top of their nose, or top of their head, which helps them keep their nose out of water so they don't breathe in that water while they're swimming. All right, on to the next snake. Anyways, hey, so, we now have to get out the angry ones. They're not actually angry, they're just defensive, and I can't blame them right now. Right now they are in shed, and you'll see why they'd be so cranky in a minute. Orion's got his vent covered up because for the past week we've known he's in shed. He's been in the deep blue state where Lilith had just started showing signs of shed today. So we haven't gotten around to taping up her vents either yet. But we're going to start with the crank with the very defensive girl. She is my personal favorite. Out of all of them, well, that's changed. But that's for a reason I'll talk about in a little bit. So this is my second favorite animal we got, my first favorite snake. And yeah, she's now going into blue too. So that means in the next week, both retics are gonna shed. I am almost. I know. You put her hide out of the way completely because she will come back and try to uh, get in it. And right now she is blind. She doesn't see a thing that is going on. She can make out the movement of it, but that is it. It is a shadow passing in front of her face. Like, I don't know if you've ever had a nightlight on and you've tried to see through that nightlight. And all you can do is make out those shapes. So you're seeing a person when there's a chair with a, a coat on it. Yeah, it's the same thing here. I know, I know. Ooh, calm down. Go the other way. Go the other way. You're okay, big girl. Shh. I know. I know. You're very scared right now. Everything's very scary to you right now. Now this is the most common time to get bit between trying to get her out while she's in shed. Snakes are not slippery. But they're just very smooth. It's hard to get a tap hold of them sometimes. Huh? You know, you get her. You always do better at it. 
You get her out without issue. I did it, you girl. I'm gonna need you not to do I'm gonna need you to also go the other way. This way. Come on. Come on. Hi. Hi, Faith. Oh, man. I messed up your shit. I'm sorry, mamas. Alright. You got it. Back up. <laughs> That's a snake. Hi, mamas. Alright. So now we have our Lilith, female mainland retic. Now she's about to shed, so she's gonna get even bigger. And right now, all she can really make out is that light, and she can smell us in here, but she doesn't know where everything is. And I'm gonna show you guys why in just a second. Uh, hi, big girl. I promise to not stop cutting this so that you move up. There we go. Just show it for just a second. You got those deep blue eyes right there. It means she's in shed. What's going on right now is there's a layer of water, essentially, between one set of scales and another. And all I'm doing is protecting my face from her right now. It's kind of stressing her out, so I'm going to stop for a second. But that deep blue in her eyes right now, she, while she does have grayish blue eyes, they're not normally that color. And right now she's got a, about to go in shed here in the next week. So we're just gonna give her a bath and help her get a nice clean shed. She's not wrapped around my head. <laughs> she's just got my jaw. No! Where's the lid? Where did I put the lid? When she was smaller, I would give her baths by myself in a bathtub. So I know that she moms on in baths, and I know how to get her to mellow on in the bath. Orion won't mellow on in baths. No, Orion hates me. Orion is annoying. There we go. Yes, Orion's annoying. So while she, you got her in the bath, I'm gonna go. Ahead, we're gonna go ahead and get out of Ryan and talk with him. She got 15 minutes to soak, and that's your boy. I don't know. I'm just trying not to laugh at the talk with him. He ain't gonna talk back. We promise. So we're about to get out of Ryan so we can talk about him while Lilith is taking her bath. <laughs> and uh, there's some cool points about retics I kind of want to talk about right now, because. I just read this very interesting fact, and it doesn't really retain to R2 right now, but it kind of does, because it, ex it explains why Lilith will eat literally anything, but it doesn't explain why Orion's Orion. My uh, big boy. Oh, uh, where's my step ladder? Because I also have to replace his water, I just remembered. I'm a short king. Get over it. What? See how I'm a short king. Get over it. in point of us knowing these snakes know just how he handed me the snake hook but we don't do that with Lila. This he, is our mellow boy. He's a very mellow retic. Also, oh, he put all of his body in my face. Come on. You need your head. She said no. Get the camera. <laughs> he said you don't get my head. 
Okay. Oh, I can feel the power of this animal right now as he's currently wrapped around my legs. That's nothing vital, and it's why we have two people in here. But if you can see, his eyes too are also in that crazy deep blue state. He has also got that layer of liquid going on between his scales right now. And as you can see, a lot of his scales are raising up right now because they're dry. They're ready to come off. So he's about to get a bath as well to help him shed. So maybe hopefully this time it's not so messy. I literally cannot spread my knees right now because he's currently coiled around my knees. There he goes. Oh, a little bit of it's already coming off. Anyways, some cool facts about the articulated python and I wanted to Ryan out to talk about this. Whoa, watch my nonads there, boy. This is the wild morph articulated python. This is exactly how you find them out in the wilds back in Indonesia and the Philippines and all that. And Thailand. Thailand, yeah. All that. And or even in Florida in some few spots. Uh, but reticulated or the reticulatus, which is part of their name, literally means net like. And it's referring to this net like pattern that goes all along their body. And well, you might look at Lilith and go, she's a very beautiful girl, which she is. There is still something beautiful about the wild morph. I mean, just these crazy intricate patterns with that nice little dark brown and gray. And then you get down to the orange down there at the tail. Now, at this size, in the wild, he'd be eating rodents, small rats, uh, I believe they're called rat-eared bats. And at about Lilith's size and a little bit bigger, they'd start moving up to larger prey. And this is big prey. An animal this size, or these retics will eat anything that's about their size and weight and about a quarter of their length. So at the 20 feet, or in the largest one ever, the 28.3 feet, you'll have them chowing down on deer, uh, pigs, which is kind of why I want to do what I'm going to do for Thanksgiving, but we'll see about that. Because remember, we didn't get to shit film her last time because we had a Halloween party, but when it comes time to feed her this time, uh, make sure we have nothing on the schedule so that video will be up. And this will be the most interesting meal she ever get if I can find a pig. Uh, well, also, as we were saying, uh, in the wild, these guys are eating massive meals to the point that there is one documented case of them eating a nearly starved, and I have to say that because it matters, short, not short face bear, that's the... Uh, Pleistocene, Mesozoic, something like that bear that was like bigger than a polar bear. Sun bear, that's the one. Yeah, one of these guys had eaten a half-starved sun bear who was weighing about 50 pounds. And sun bears are the smallest bear species, but it's still really impressive to think that in a battle between a snake and a bear, the snake came out on top. Despite only having a mouth while the bear has claws and everything else. Uh, and he is all sorts of wrapped around exploring me and I'm being very careful to make sure he's not Constricting around my neck right now or ribs or ribs really. I'm not worried about him with my ribs right now. He's still Small enough that that's not too much of a concern any bigger and it will become one These are very powerful animals and he's about 20 pounds maybe 30 a pure unadulterated muscle but it's time to get his girlfriend back in her enclosure so he can take a bath too do you want to put Lily away or do I need to he's so big he is so big and he is about 10 feet I mean look at this uh, this doesn't even do it justice but I am at his tail and there's all this still going around me. 
This boy is huge. I remember when we got him and he could fit in a cricket keeper. Yeah, he's probably going on 12 feet. Uh, he's probably around 10. Let's see. All right, so I'm 5'9". So if we put him on my shoulders, I'd be what? 5'5", five, 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 around there. So if I can put him on my shoulder and he still touches the ground, it means he's about 11 feet. Yeah, he's about an 11 and a half foot long snake, I'd say. We'll give him that extra half inch just to be safe. What? I know the size of my baby. Yeah, you do. I'm so used to Lilith who just goes through growth spurts and this boy's starting to get at his adult size. He's got about another three feet to him. And that'll be the smallest the male retic will get. And, uh, or he has another five feet to go and he'll be at the largest male retics tend to get. Anyways, I'm gonna hold him while... I'm trying to see if I can see the tip of his tail. Over here. See the bulge? That's because he's holding in his poop. Yeah. Because our retics do that. Yeah, our retics will hold their... Oh, lordy lord, 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 lord. Uh, in fact, a lot of snakes, when in shed, will not defecate for a little bit and just hold on to it. Hi, baby. But he is, at this size, a fully sexually mature male. He's already tried to breed with Lilith once, right before we got a... And how we discovered he was a male. Oh! Well, he's no longer holding it in. <laughs> oh, why is it always you? Why am I always getting peed on by you? Ah! <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thanks. Now this room stinks. Let's not poop on Dad. I'm wearing this to work. You done? You done? You just had to hear me say that you were holding your poop. Yeah, you had to jinx it, right? Alright, well, so I can shower here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get Lilith back. It's been about 10 minutes since she soaked in here, which is enough time to get that water underneath her nice and smooth. And luckily I'm right here at her enclosure. So hopefully this whole process goes nice and smooth. And you are getting to see the top of my hat. All right, let's go ahead and put her in here. Let her just go back on her own, really. Maybe help her out a little. Because I do need to mop out in here now. Thanks, Orion. Stinker. Maybe retics could should get the stinker. Or should be dinkers. Because, you know, they're stinkers. In your own words. It kind of smells like ramen. I, that's what I was going to say. There's something, Chandler brings this up. He says there's something about the old world that just love to smell like ramen whenever they defecate everywhere. No one knows why. Oh, he unplugged all the lights because... Well, Orion's a wee bit of a booty hole and while we were trying to put him away, he decided to rip his lights, all the lights from the wall. Luckily, the, sur or the um, heat panels are still... In there but don't be surprised if he ain't Dan ain't got lights anymore the closest outlet is all the way back behind Orion like I mean like right there on the wall so there's there's no getting to that and then all the other outlets in this room are full so they might not have lights for a while we'll see we'll see what we can do next next week Alright, I'm gonna get. You won't put Orion back? I got to take Orion out. This is your boy. You left this side open? Okay. Don't do this if you have venomous snakes. Actually, I probably shouldn't do this even with non venomous. I just don't have a healthy fear of getting bit. Being a 
my noodle with the head that can't see. It's okay though. And you can hear him right now. It's not him being huffy with us. Well, maybe a little. Ooh. He says maybe a little. He did say maybe a little. And as you saw, he didn't go after anyone. He opened his mouth and kind of lunged as a threat display. No, he went after the phone. He had the phone in his face. No, he didn't. I saw it. <laughs> Uh, but no, he's he's just being protective right now, protective of himself. He can't see right now. He's just a noodle with a head who has no idea what's going on with the world because he's blind as a bat right now. But he didn't lunge. He's not as blind as a bat. Bats, bats have echolocation. They can see beautifully. Okay. It's a turn of phrase. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, I noticed he didn't try to go after us or anything like that. He's just being very defensive right now. And that's all it is. Snakes are defensive. They can't comprehend what mean is. They, I don't even know if they have a frontal lobe to acknowledge that. What the heck? I have a cricket on my arm. All right, come on, big boy. Let's get you back. Are you back in there? All right. And when I say that they can't comprehend what mean is, I say that, but I'm about to call this next one a feisty girl, an angry girl, something like that. But it's not what I mean. They're not actually angry. I don't mean to say that. It's just a turn of phrase that humans know. You know, we'll call horses ownery and everything like that. They don't mean to be, they're not rude. They can't be mean. Him peeing all over me. He wasn't rude. He don't know exactly what he's doing. Mm, just it's is, not that he doesn't know that he, what he's doing. It's just, you know, the world is his toilet. And we happen to be... Part of his world. We're the urinal mate, mostly. I think this video is going to go... I, I was going to label this video something stupid. And I think it's going to become like peed on a retake again. She was in the eggs. Ears back. She lunged. I just did it. <laughs> we have gotten over our fear. But as you can tell, let's see if it can pick it up. Right there. She's got a little bit of stuck shed on her from where she shed over the weekend. So we're just going to give her a little bath herself. Oh, look at you. You're so curious. You've gotten big. She's a cute little girl. She is curious. Uh, she also is still feisty. She, hey, it's raining. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get her in her little bath for a little bit. While I feed all the other snakes. Or, not snakes. Though we do have a snake to attempt to feed today. We do. I got to feed uh, crickets. Yeah, I'm just going to attempt to feed Pandora. That's uh, probably not going to go on camera because she never eats. I'm not going to have you guys watch him. My bad, G. To skip him feeding the leopard geckos, which is the most monotonous, boring part in my Let's opinion. see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. That's nine right there. And then what we have in there. Yeah, that's like, what, 12 animals that get crickets? Each of them at least getting six. That's... That's too much math. That's like, what, 72 crickets? Yeah. So to skip that, I'm going to show you guys Pandora. Because I think she looks funny right now. She's... You're doing what with Pandora? I'm showing them Pandora. Oh, she stopped. She was in hunter mode. But, um... We put Zeus in here. With Pandora. You can show your turtle. So that she would start getting into defensive hunter mode. Um, Midas is in shed also. Don't know where he is currently. Poseidon's just chilling. He really, he loves the bass. Sometimes he'll go for a little swim, but I mostly catch him just basking. He's a very happy turtle. Well, he will be. 
when we actually, you know, get everything set up. While Ren takes care of waters, it's been 15 minutes. Little angry girl needs to go back. Or little... Little defensive noodle. She's been doing a lot better. We've been handling her a lot more lately. And I think she got all of her shed off in that bath. Yeah, I think she got all of the shed off in the bath. But I'm gonna run my hands down here real quick just to make sure none comes off on me. And none did. She's a beautiful little girl. I'm just gonna put her right back in her home. And hidden she goes. Gone. All right, and finally, it's on to what we got this week. And we got two new leopard geckos who are non-named. So leave a comment down below what we will name them. And finally, a crusty. We finally got a crusty gecko. And what's his name? Leaf Erickson. Leaf Erickson. So some cool facts about these guys, real quick. I mean. Leopard geckos, you know, are found in sandy, rocky terrain in the wild where they spend most of the days in burrows. Uh, the main difference between these guys and other geckos, like, get him in the video. Oh. <laughs> We're talking here. So the main difference between guys like this and guys like this is these guys have eyelids. So they'll actually blink quite often. And then they also have claws. normal claws and clawed fingers and toes. They're also mainly found on the ground instead of <laughs> like the arboreal species like the New Caledonian geckos. These guys are found in the Middle East, Pakistan, Nepal, Afghanistan. Iran, I think. So they're found out in the Middle East. And obviously they're very popular with the pet trade. They do scream and oh, they jump very slightly. But, put these guys back. I don't remember which Hey, 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 hey. None of that. You went in. Thank you. This one. These guys were on a mealworm diet for most of their life. So they are a little clunky, so we're going to work on getting them to crickets and getting them back to a healthy weight. All right. I stole your seat. You stole my seat? You moved. You're as bad as the dogs. Ah! Or is going to steal my seat? I'll steal you. No! All right, real quick. You can have them back. So, this is the Cretista Gecko. You can see why. Also known as the Eyelash. Gecko. You can sort of kind of see it. It doesn't want to focus. But this is a part of the New Caledonian gecko family. Their tail is semi prehentile. So they can kind of use it to grab on like a monkey. And what we were saying is, like other geckos, they got these sticky pads on their fingers, which is just a bunch of micro scales that help them grab on. And if they don't grab onto it with the pads, they do have little claws to help them grab on things that are a little bit more terrained. And here you go, you can have him back. And like most actual gecko species, he does not have eyelids, so you'll see him licking his eyes quite often to remove any debris and keep them wet, moist. I don't know which, which was worse, moist or wet? Yes. Vote. <laughs> no. Moist, wet, yes. <laughs> Same difference in this case. So, this is one of my new, this is my new favorite animal. I found out, because I was doing research on them, and it turns out that they were discovered in 1884 in New Caledonia, which is just slightly off of Australia, and then they went extinct 
is what was said. They were believed to be extinct until 1994. So not even 30 years ago, 29 years ago, they were rediscovered. And I've known about these guys my entire life. Like they were always like, oh, I knew them as eyelash geckos at the time. When they started really popping off in the pet trade, they were known as crested geckos. Uh, I know they've gone through like three or four different name changes. They're, they're so cool. They're babies. That's what they are. Oh, another cool thing is their tail is about as long as the rest of their body. So this guy right here is about 20 inches long, so that means his tail is about 10 inches itself. But that is it for this episode. We're going to feed these three real quick, and then... I gotta get to editing because this video is supposed to come out tomorrow. I've shot three different videos for this week. <laughs> All of them have said no. Anyways, so that's it for today. Like, comment, subscribe, share. We are at, at time of recording, 60 subscribers. Let's see if we can get to 75. That's just 15 more. And if we can get to five likes... This one has to feed geckos crickets. I really hate feeding. I just hate feeding the, yeah. the reptiles. That's why we want them to do it. All right. See you in the next one. That should be coming out on Friday. Next Friday. Which is what we're going to try for is every Friday unless something's going on with us. We're a small channel right now. I don't have a lot of backlog videos, but we'll get there. All right. Peace out.